Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today, I can barely breathe. The engine in this car is so big. There's no air left around here, man. I can barely breathe. The car's not even running, right? I need to read this one more time just to make sure we are talking about 520 cubic inches, right? 520 cubic inches. Have anybody ever seen an engine that big and in a car, right? And all aluminum. This is where it starts and it's just a small bit of everything that's going on in here. This is a car that was done a little different. Some people will throw in a giant engine in a car, right? No brakes. I got a car one time years ago, had a blower on it with drum brakes, right? A blower with drum brakes. Uh. If you gotta go, you gotta stop. Big wheels and tires, big brakes. We're gonna spend some time looking at all of this. This was built for a guy who wanted, wanted the best car to take to a car show, right? And enjoyed it for a really long time. And uh, now finally it's available. And once you see it, I don't know what's gonna happen to you, but there's not a lot of air left in here. When we open the hood, you'll know why. All right, so this is my favorite part. I love to talk about the paint and let's talk about great paint. So you and I could paint this car and it would come out just fine. However, great paint is wrapped up in the prep of the car. It's not wrapped up in the paint of the car. And here's how you know uh, that I'm speaking and you'll know what I'm talking about, right? Imagine that hole that you filled in the bathroom. Uh, your wife asked you to get rid of that picture or you did whatever your husband did. And you, uh, you went to fill the hole, sanded it, you painted it, and then you come back the next day and you still kind of see the same hole. That's not good prep work and you didn't put enough time into that and we've all been down that road. This car here has great paint and great prep work and we started out with a really nice car. Then I noticed this too. First off, you're using pearl white paint, which is not easy to paint with. It can be a couple step process. But once the car is prepped and painted, then the paint is laid on. A lot of people don't clear over the stripes. And why is that important? Because over the years, as you wash and wax these cars, the stripes start to tear and they get to be ugly. And you're going to want to go to a car show or go out to dinner with some friends or whatever in this car. And you don't want that to happen. In this case here, you can't even feel the stripes. Uh, uh, on the paint here, which is really nice. So they painted that base coat, the pearl white, then they lay down the silver stripes on here, and then they clear coat the whole thing. I like to tell you this, like if you wanted to personalize this car and you wanted to go one other step, you could make these stripes any color you wanted. Maybe you want black stripes. We could redo the stripes on here and do that. Uh, I thought the stripes were cool looking, but it's up to you, man. That's what makes these cars so cool. The black rims with some black stripes could be pretty, pretty cool. Well, let's do this because this is the most important part and that is the quality of the paint. You need to be able to make sure you can read every letter crisp and clear. Not that you can see the letters, the crisper the letter is, the better the paint quality. All right, so let's take a look under here and go, wow. All right, Merlin X block in there, Shafiroff, all aluminum uh, assembly that they put together, aluminum heads, block, 520 cubic inches, man. It's a lot of power. This thing, when it starts, right, shakes the ground, shakes the ground. It is just fabulous. But if you want to look at, at things a little farther than just the engine, because the engine is a great engine, very expensive build and whatever, look at the rest of the car, because what we want to do is we want to be able to go in the car, but stop and handle as well. So ride tech suspension all the way around, QA1 adjustable shocks all around. Uh, subframe there with a rack and pinion, uh, the marks done all powder code, flaming river rack and pinion in there, right? Instead of an old school steering box, right? This is a cool car, man. Big meaty tires all around and it drives the, the, the idea behind building something like this is that you would want to uh, mate everything together. So engine, transmission, rear end and suspension all works together in harmony. So when you drive the car, it goes straight down the road. If you want to nail it and go uh, and go hard, right? It goes straight. It also goes around the corner as well and it stops. All right, so look at uh, this back here before we even get in here. This is a great look. I love uh, the taillight setup, the Z28 call out, the rear spoiler, right? Plus we have that exotic front spoiler too, all custom made by the way, custom made by a person because they don't sell a spoiler like that. But when somebody's riding behind you, they're gonna tell from the shiny adjustable coilovers below the stainless gas tank that's there uh, all of the detail underneath here that that is, is not a normal regular Camaro going down the road so then you might say well you know what I might go to a car show and uh, want to show off the trunk and what have you and in here we have a, a nice stainless battery box we have a detailed trunk there we have a nitrous system that hasn't even been used yet all new gaskets and seals and beautiful paint that's gone around here uh, it's exactly what 
uh, I would want to do, like I go to the car show and I want to open up some stuff, show off my stuff that's there, and then once I fire it up, people will know that you're serious. All right, so come join me in here. Um, this is an important piece of it, and I'll tell you why. Because when you're taller and you're bigger, like I'm not a big guy, but I'm 6'1", right? Uh, that's a great sounding door, by the way. Anyway, uh, when you're 6'1", you want some room in here, right? So this, this seat is fully adjustable, right? You can sit however you choose. There's room in the back for uh, the kids if you want to take them for a ride. But you got a full cockpit here, man. I'm talking about this is designed for... Uh, fighter pilot kind of stuff. 10,000 RPM TAC, 160 mile an hour speedometer, full array of gauges, killer sound system everywhere. But you got great bucket seats that are in here. You got awesome seat belts. You got the console. And while I ramble on about all this stuff, it does have a roll bar in it because this car is fast enough to qualify for certain speeds uh, at the track. So I'm told I have no idea that to, to verify that because I did not do that. But uh, from the sound of it and the feel of it, uh, I would be hard pressed to argue that. Having said that, the roll bar is really nice because it swings out if you want to. So you can leave uh, the front end, swing it out to get in and out, close the door, close that, and boom, pin it in place, you're good to go. But my point is this, is that everything in here is new, from the headliner to the seats to the carpets to the dash pad to the steering wheel uh, to the window cranks to all of this stuff here. Uh, and you're getting a fully restored car for a lot, lot less than you could ever build one. All right, so we close up the video. Let's talk about the players for a second, right? The players is what I'm talking about here. Shafiroff, who's given us an incredible engine, right? Overdrive automatic, full race built. Uh, the Wheelwood disc brakes, the full interior that's in there, the digital sound system that's there. I was just going down. The QA1 suspension, right? Uh, the ride tech, the rack and pinion. Like it goes on and on and on and on. But lots of people talk about this, but they don't have receipts to back that up. We have a beautiful three inch thick folder of receipts for this car showing all of the parts that were put on here. The paint is great, the car sounds ridiculous, man. But most importantly, of all the stuff we talked about today, it's the way it goes down the road. It hits it when it wants to go, it just drives nice. If you just wanna wheel it around and drive to work, you can do that. But if you wanna get on a little bit and maybe surprise uh, a new Corvette or something like that with a little bit of, hey, how you doing? I'm from the old school, right? This is exactly what you need. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000, we'll tell you all about it. If you would, please make sure to like the video, share it with some friends, right? Share it with some friends, and if you could, subscribe to the channel. Every time we get one of the new video, we'll send it your way.